What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Thank you for joining me tonight. My girl Q will be back next week. She is enjoying her birthday week. Uh, so shout out to Q. Happy birthday week. What's going on? I am going to open up the chat for everybody. Never mind me. I'm up here taking keys and stuff out of my pocket, putting my cell phone up. I'm going to tell y'all why I'd be late. I'm going to tell on her. I'm going to tell on her. Rita is the one that be making me late. I am two minutes late because of Rita Daniels. What's going on, friends? What's up, B? I'm opening up the chat just for you. I'm opening up the chat specifically for B. Now, everybody else will be able to come up and have this conversation after I review this video, but I'm definitely opening up for B. What up, though? Kojak, Sarah. Matt G, what's going on, friends? Stephen Day, um, Shield, what up, though? Yeah, big bad bull, Ricky Webster, all of my friends, Precious Brown. Uh, I don't care to hear about BBL wisdom. <laughs> you also caddy. Ricky Webster, you are my guy. Ricky Webster is my guy. Shout out to Ricky Webster. Says supporting and props do. What up, though? All right. So I'm a little bit discombobulated. I'm not even going to kid y'all. All right. Um, But I want to deep dive into this girl. Right. And I'm going to show you who she is. Her name is O. Stefko. And she. Let's 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 play it like this. Right. I've been paying attention to her for a while, right? And she kind of went viral um, a long time ago based off of a video that she made, right? And the video that she went viral for was, I forgot what it was, but it was basically saying that she don't have pretty privilege. It almost got a million views, right? This Let me tell you the video that she went viral with. Because right now she got like 60 some thousand subscribers or something like that. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get into it. Thank you, Ricky Webster. So let me show you who this woman is and why. Because this is not a kill old Steph Co video. But I have not seen the video. I've seen the title of the video. I went and read some of the comments. And I've been keeping it on my radar for an extended period of time. And I said, yo, I got to get into this video. I want to watch this video. But instead of watching it in my own time, I said, I'm just going to break it down with everybody else, right? So let me show you who she is first. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me show y'all who she is. I want to share my screen with y'all. All right, so this was the video that she went viral with. And it was, I don't have pretty privilege and that sucks. And it almost got a million views and it was from a year ago. And I said, hmm, this is interesting. And so I've been paying attention to her for a little bit of time, right? And so let me show you her channel. And this is her channel. She got about 70,000 subscribers, which is really good. You know what I'm saying? And so she drops a little content here and there. And I find it pretty interesting coming from uh, a person with her perspective. And so I've just been paying attention. I subscribed to her channel uh, because I wanted to just kind of keep in mind certain things that was happening, so on and so forth. And then I seen this pop up on my radar, right? Sabrina B says she is the queen of the victim Olympics. Interesting. I am going to get into it. So before I make any comments, let me first say that, again, this is not a kill her video, but I want to be objective. And you know, I'm going to call a spade a spade, right? I am going to be absolutely 100% real. Because this has nothing to do with her. This has everything to do with her mindset, right? I am going to break down whatever it is that she says. Because in her video, she specifically highlights how she does not like... Let me let me tell you what the name of the video was that she dropped. It was... The internet made me feel bad for Lori Harvey. And now I want to fight. That is the name of her video. Her video's name is The Internet Made Me Feel Bad for Lori Harvey, and Now I Want to Fight. And then she added inside of the description, it says, Last week, the interwebs tried to slander my good sis, and I shan't stand for it. I shan't. I guess that means I shall not. Okay? 
So this dropped on June 16th, so it was almost a week ago, and I'm just now getting to it because Anton said, you know what, I'm going to read it. I put stuff in my watch watch later, and I don't get to it, and then it popped up again. I said, you know what, instead of me watching this, I'm going to break this down with the people. All right, cool. So, so now that we have a little bit of insight into who she is and why she is the way that she is, I am going to go ahead and bring up the video. And then after I go ahead and it's, it's not that long of a video, right? We're going to break it down frame by frame. And then I'm going to give my authentic thoughts about it. And then after that, after that, I'm going to drop the link in the description for you guys to be able to cam up. All right. So that is the order of business today, today. And before I do that, let me just make sure that I got some things together again, because Rita is the one that made me like, you know what she made me late for? Let me tell you all what Rita made me late for. Rita made me join her for an ice cream date. So I can't really be mad. You know what I'm saying? I can't really be mad about what it is that she said or why she's saying it or what she's making me do. She made me join her for an ice cream date. And I said, okay, all right, I'm going to play along. I'm going to be nice. And so, you know, we kind of rocking out. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, now that we rocking, I am going to go ahead and share the video. Yeah, read it. Listen, that's what we do. I'm trying to tell you. You date once you get into the relationship, not before. Once you get into the relationship is where you start dating. All right. So I'm about to go ahead and share this video with y'all. We're going to react in real time. And this is her. And welcome to my channel. So look at me just uploading, uploading, uploading two videos this week. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, it's like old times. I just wanted to talk about something that people had spoken about a lot last week. Her and, camera is crispy. Um, it, what is she it just it confused me so much why it was even a conversation, especially the way the conversation was going, that I, I just wanted to, I did want to speak on it. You let me say first and foremost, I, I can appreciate the idea that she has put significant effort into looking her best on camera. We don't give enough credit. And, and again, listen, this is me being nice. Anton is giving credit where credit is due. Uh, I like for women not to have bonnets on, right? I like for women to actually not look like they have a ton of makeup on. I like for women to actually put their effort into it. So I am going to give credit where credit is due. This woman looks like she puts effort into uh, what she does from a production perspective and looking her best on camera. So I am going to say that. All right. Now, I don't know what she's going to say about Lori Harvey because I have not seen the video, but we're going to get straight into it. Let's continue. The title, I am talking about the way um, Miss Mama's Lori Harvey was treated by the media. And not even really media, uh, social media. Let's do that. So not, I won't say like newspapers. And she got her phone. She got her all black Social on. media, Twitter. Oh, Twitter was terrible. Uh, TikTok. Uh, yeah, what I said Anton, she got a ton of makeup on. I don't know what a ton of makeup looks like. I'm sorry, but let's get into what she's saying. Let's not go away from what she's saying. I want to break down exactly what her thoughts are. Okay. Whew. Whatever. When uh, she broke up with or when her relationship with Michael B. Jordan ended after like a year and it was so bad that it made me feel sorry for Lori Harvey, which is, is not something I ever thought I would say. Um, I talked about her before a little bit on this channel, not in a negative way, just to kind of uh, use her as an example in one of my other videos. If you've seen it, you know which one I'm talking about. But for the most part, I recognize Lori as what she is. She's a young, beautiful woman in Hollywood um, doing a lot with the resources she's been given. She could very easily just be like a stay-at-home daughter who just posts on IG, but she started multiple companies. She's a model. She's she's really trying okay. to grow and become okay. her own mogul. And okay, okay, okay. All right. First of all, I'm never going to feel sorry from somebody that's a millionaire. Secondly, I'm never going to feel sorry for anybody that's a millionaire. All right. So she's wrong. Right. I do understand as a person that uh, is in content creation and has some level of visibility, that criticism come along with it. But let me under, let me help you to understand something. When you sign up for this life, 
you are very, very, very well rewarded as a result of it. So I'm not going to feel sorry for a woman that is a millionaire and has a father, a stepfather, and apparently loves her very much. That is a millionaire. This is a made woman. Okay. She's literally dated who's who of Hollywood. She has dated both Diddy and his son. How can I feel sorry for a woman that is moving the way that she moves and is very, very privileged as far as her ability to only look pretty in order to be able to capitalize off of what comes along with that? How is that her building her moguldom? I don't understand it. It makes no sense whatsoever. So as of right now, she's off. As of right now, her thoughts... And this is one of the things, this is a symptom of running in the victim Olympics. As of right now, she's off real talk. Shout out to Spencer Campbell says no one's off limit. No one, literally no one is off limits. As long as you are a content creator, you are not off limits. Let's continue in her own right. And I think that that's amazing. And something Woman else empowerment. That noticeably um, is date. She dates. She dates. And when she broke up with Michael B. Jordan, I realized people have a problem with that. Someone even called her the female version of future. <laughs> Can you imagine? Facts. Facts. The female version of future. Facts. Wow. So in this video, I'd like to just talk for a second about what the outrage against Lori Har Harvey taught me um, in general about uh the kind of hive mind of social media out there when it comes to young women specifically young black women navigating relationships in the public sphere so the first thing it taught me i already see the victim olympics we're already in the oppression olympics she's talking about young black women navigating in the dating market ma'am this woman has dated who's who of who's who she went from diddy to diddy's son to, to, to god knows how many other dudes so many dudes, come on, man. Listen, listen, listen. If we're going to be real, then let's be all the way real. It's not just dating, okay? It's associating yourself with certain people that you know. It do not play well. And anybody that's been in the public eye knows that you have to be very, very careful with how it is that you go about executing and plan out what it is that you're doing for your image, right? That would be like me on a much lower scale because Lori Harvey obviously isn't in this tier of um, being promiscuous, right? That would be like me looking at Kim Kardashian and, and not acknowledging the fact that she came up off a of sucking cock, sucking Ray J's cock. And that she didn't, didn't jump from Reggie Bush to Ray J and Nick Cannon probably hit it and all of this allegedly, right? And then Kanye and then now Pete Davidson. Now, am I supposed to just completely overlook that and just say, oh, man, I feel sorry for her for the way that the Internet. No, this woman is a billionaire and her whole family are millionaires and billionaires as a result of her taking it in, taking that hard one. She took one for the team. She did what she had to do to get what she wanted. And so now you take what comes along with it. I don't really understand where the discrepancy is. Is that massage noir is a disease, mm, straight up and down a disease. Um, I say that because. Lori Harvey is not the only young woman who has dated publicly mm. and had public breakups okay. and had multiple relationships. Mm. But for some reason, and I believe I know what that is, when she has this experience, she gets called a pass around. She gets called a whore. She gets, I mean, just all out her name. And honestly, I think it's because people still have a problem with black women being open, honest, and confident when it comes to their value within the dating market. See, here's the key. And this is what's wrong with women like this, right? And again, this is not an attack on her. This is an attack on her thoughts. The problem is that men and women are not judged by the same criteria. And we shouldn't be because we're completely different. That, that would be like judging a cat by the same standards that you're judging a dog. They're completely different animals. They both serve a purpose and they both are different at the same time. And the standards that you have to hold women based off of how society treats them 
and what the requirements are of them are on an individual level, the standards are going to differ. Case in point, women benefit from the whole idea of uh, being hypergamous, right? They can go for the best available man and it's still, regardless of how, my, far, how far women have come, when it comes to equality, they still can, can and maybe even should have the expectation of being a housewife. And they can take off and take care of the kids and then not have to work for an extended period of time. That's just life. Men don't sit here and whine about it and try to equalize. Well, why well, can't you sit here and be taken care of by a woman? No, the expectation is just that society is unforgiving when it comes to men. And then conversely, men move how they move and their expectations are different from what it is from women. Now, if we put the complete same expectations above both, then that means that we can go ahead and get rid of different sports. We can go ahead and get rid of different expectations when it comes to the different jobs that you're supposed to do in society. And we're just going to keep it 100% equal across the board, right? You want that? You want LeBron James dunking all over your holes that's inside of the WNBA? You probably could use that in order to get a little bit of friction. And so you don't sell those tickets for one and $2 a piece on the floor. You know what I'm saying? But she's completely wrong. She's off. And this is why she is not getting the results that they want because it first starts with your mentality. This is real. Let's continue. I think it enrages uh, men. And I saw the tweets. When you have a young woman no that man is, is very clearly he in really control of her romantic situation, uh, is very clearly highly desired. And she's not submitting to archaic ideas of what a woman should do archaic. when a man simply bothers to pay her some attention. Mm. She is navigating this world with incredible resources and she's doing a good job. Okay. But I think because she is a black woman, um, you well, know, people black. have certain attitudes about that and they have certain biases uh, toward her. Because she's a black woman. Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag running in the victim Olympics, automatically associate, associating herself based off of her gender, then based off of her race in order to make excuses as to why they should not be judged by the same criteria as everybody else. Nobody cares. Nobody cares if you're a black woman. We care about how many bodies you pulling up. You don't get the same standards. Listen, we're going to treat you differently. Then the woman that is out here, not racking up body after body after body after body. I'm pretty sure that Future got a standard for how it is that he do his chicks. Smear all over their face. When I look at Lori Harvey, let me tell you what I look at when I look at Lori Harvey. I don't see an innocent woman that is operating in her femininity and truly, you know, an example for what I would want my daughter to be. Or what this woman should want her daughter to be. You know what I see? I see the possibility of somebody just smearing all of it on her face. Taking a whole load. I see a woman that probably took multiple loads from different types of guys. That's what I see. That's what I project. Body count matters. And you know the interesting part about it is that Lori Harvey can never unsee what she didn't seen and what then went inside of her because you can't undo what's already been done. <laughs> this is facts. Real talk. The inside of you will ever forever be shaped differently and you can never get a different impression other than the one that you already had. It's sad. It is. It's real. It's sad. It's so real that we need to have this conversation and review this video. And it just made me laugh because I think about an actress like Kaylee Cuoco, who got married to um, her first husband a couple years ago, first a couple husband. months after meeting Jesus him, Christ. then divorced him. And uh, I think while she was in the process of divorcing him, took up with the guy who would become her next husband. They never lived together, her and this, or maybe they moved together like towards Jesus the end. But as soon Christ. as they moved in together, they got a divorce. She was away from this guy for a little while and then was like, oh, I'll never get married again. I'll never... She's in another relationship with somebody else. Mm, and before mm, these mm. marriages, she was just she was just dating. She was just out there. Which is one of the reasons. Listen, this is a very bad example to, in order to illustrate her point. 
which is one of the reasons why she keep jumping from guy to guy to guy and getting remarried and getting remarried and she can't hold down a marriage or a relationship. This is the, it, you're really proving our point is that the woman can never unsee all of the men that she's been with. And as a result, body count matters. So you can't just be out here being promiscuous. Why is she using this woman as an, as an example? It's a bad example. It is a horrible example for what you would want your daughter to be. What is wrong with this woman? And so as intelligent as this woman, Steph Co. And there's nothing wrong with it. And I think it's incredible. You hear what she Listen. said is nothing wrong with Let's rewind that really quickly. Let's let's re-listen re to what her example was. Then divorce. And then let's go over what her example. Let's go over what it is. Because, because I think about as intelligent as this woman is, let me blow her up for y'all. As intelligent as she's she's able to communicate. This is why women need men's covering because they don't even know what's best for themselves. Has no idea the problems and the trouble that she's creating for herself as a result of having this mentality. Listen to her example and listen to what she says. That's okay. Pay attention. Let's go through her example one more time. Actress like Kaylee Cuoco, who got married to um, hey girl. her first husband a couple years ago. A couple months after meeting Look him, who she's following. then divorced him, and uh, I think while she was in the process of divorcing him, took up with the guy who would become her next husband. Mm, so husband they never lived two. together, her and this dude, or maybe they moved together like towards the end. But as soon as they moved in together, they got a divorce. Mm. She was away from this guy for a little while, mm. and then was like, "Oh, I'll never get married again. I'll never." She's in another relationship with somebody else, mm. and before these marriages, she was just she was just dating. She was just out there, mm. and there's nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's her conclusion. This is her conclusion. And there's nothing wrong with it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, friends, can you honestly say that these are the people that we should be looking up to and taking advice from? Now, interestingly enough, this woman has 70,000 subscribers, which means that she has an audience that believes in her and listens to her and supports her narrative. Because when I went through, and again, I have not watched this video. This is the first time that I watched this video. I'm reviewing it with you guys, right? She's talking specifically about why it's okay for Lori Harvey and Kaylee Kawuko, whoever this chick is can get buzzed down by multiple men and jump from relationship to relationship to marriage to marriage and don't have any kind of stability. And she's not actually trying to ask herself, why can't these women be held down? Why is nobody trying to make sure that they're wifing up this, these chicks for the long term? Why? Look, look, you got people in the chat. There's nothing wrong with it. I agree. Hmm. Interesting. I'll drop the link in the description soon. Don't worry. I'm going to give you an opportunity to come up here and communicate with us to help us understand why it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You just can't help it. You just can't help it. I think it's incredible. Listen, and I'll get to that at the end, but I want to hear your thoughts, Janae. When somebody knows, hey, when I go out, when I put myself out there, people <laughs> listen. People care. There mm. are interested parties. Okay. And I'm going to navigate this the best way I can. And I don't owe you or anybody else a time frame or a limit of people that I want to see what works out with. I All I owe is giving myself these experiences so I can evolve into the best version of who I'm supposed to be. Interesting that she says that, right? Because I feel differently. See, let me tell you how I think. And this is how women think. And this is how men think, right? They think that they can get paid, influence people to think like them, take no responsibility for the impact that they have on the people that they influence, and that they can just go ahead and live their life after they create this carnage. Because contrary to popular beliefs, then the people that come after you are the ones that vote. They vote in the leadership, they implement certain things, and now we're in a space to where people feel like it's okay for trans people to come in and teach your kids whatever it is that they want to teach them, because it's a butterfly effect. Conversely, I understand that I have a voice, however small or however big it is, whether I influence 100,000 people or I influence one person, right? It is my responsibility, it is my duty 
as a public figure to do the thing that's in the best interest of the people that support me and rock with me. It is my duty to do the thing that is important for the people that rock with me, which means that I have to be a good husband. I got to be a good father. And this is why we have no leaders within our community, because anybody can do whatever the fuck they want to do when they want to do it with no kind of accountability, no kind of responsibility to the people that they impact and influence in. And this is why you have people that's operating the way that they do in society. And there are no more leaders. There is nobody that's willing to be open or an open book or share who it is that they are because they have no real leaders. And we're influenced by the worst versions of us, which is why I then come on this platform and tell y'all every single day that this culture is trash. And then you want to get mad at me and say, oh, Anton, you shouldn't say that. Say the right thing. Tell them to say the fucking right thing. Tell her to do the right thing. Don't get mad at me for identifying the trash and wanting to take it out to the dumpster. Get mad at them for throwing their trash on the street and then thinking that you're supposed to just take it and drink out of it and eat out of it. I'm not the person that you should be mad at. This is the person that you should be mad at right here. This narrative, this sentiment that's telling your daughters and your wives and your husbands and your children and these simps and these betas and society at large, every single person that they affect is shaping what America is today. Is shaping why the marriage rate went down from 1990 at 70% clip to 50%. And why the people that are married can't even stay successfully married. Because instead of listening to me to tell you how you can be successfully married by actually using my own life as an example, they think that they can do anything that they want. And instead of them celebrating and championing, so she should have did a video on Savannah James. She should have did a video on Savannah James. Nobody want to fucking talk about Savannah James. They want to talk about Lori Harvey. She mad because we holding Lori Harvey and her behavior accountable because we don't want our future generation of kids to turn out like that. How does this make sense? And y'all think that this is cool? Anybody can just do and say what they want to say. I didn't want to get on my soapbox. I honestly told myself, I'm in Q's absence. I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to review the video and have a little small reaction, but you got these women out here acting like they ain't never known a father figure in their life. And they out here running around being a bad example for what our society and what our daughter should be like. And then got the nerve to do a video talking about, I ain't got pretty privilege and that's making me sad. Get the fuck out of here, man. Right. Real talk. Get my likes up too, man. Because this is going to be a long night. Oh, this is going to be a long night for her. Get my likes up, bro. Shout out to Christopher. Says, tell me you're for the streets without telling me you're for the streets. We're just going to weave and drive. Weave and, right in between the lines. Straight up for the pavement. Straight up street walker. Pavement walking. What up, Lucid Experience says? I was confused as to why you called uh black culture trash when I first listened to you. After further review, I agree with you 100 percent It's a waste dump. See, eventually, the reaction to what I say is always going to hit you a certain type of way. You're gonna say, Man, I don't agree with Anton. I don't like him. I don't like what he say. But eventually, I'm always right. Eventually, you're gonna pay attention to me and you're gonna realize, listen, when Anton say something. Maybe I should start paying attention to what he's saying because he own it. He own it every single time I call it out. It may not be the popular view because it's not the thing you want to hear, but it's absolutely right. Let's get into this. I am excited to review this video now. Let's go. But um, just to go back to my point of why I even brought up Kaylee up or why I even brought up Kaylee. Can you imagine if the media, if social media was like, oh, she's a pass around, she's this, we don't talk about. We need to shame black women this way. We need to, to me, shame there's them. this obsession when it comes to black women over, like I said earlier, what we do with our bodies and who we do it with. Um, I'm not familiar with like the music that they do or that they put out. I don't really know. I'm, I'm a little too old for uh, India and Lil Durk. You a little too old to be having this mindset about how women can go out here and get bust down just because you don't want to label it like, let me tell you what you are. Let me tell y'all what y'all are when y'all move this way. 
You're not going to like what I say and, and ask me if I give a hot damn what you think. Let me tell you what you are when you move around this way. You are a H. Listen, in Detroit, we just call them HOs. If, you, if you're lucky and you're spicy, we're going to call you a HOE, a hoe. Now we got a little fancy with it and we call you a H-E-A-U-X. You a how. Use a how. Straight up. That's what they call you out in Oakland. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. I don't know what else to call you. Prostitute, bus down, train wreck for the pavement. Which one? Pick one. Pick one. Pavement pounder for the streets. Night walker. Your special, your special power as a X woman, not even an X man. Your special power is taking it, <sighs> taking the whole thing. Just take the whole thing, take it on down to the ground. I came into this video objective. I wanted to hear genuinely what this woman had to say. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in these women that have a platform that is saying the things that they saying that does not make sense. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I remember when they got engaged or something a couple weeks ago and there was all this talk about India's bodies. But yet Dirk was allowed to have all these different baby mamas and all this different. It's so crazy. People want to. It's not that he allowed to have it. How many times that we talk about futures and futures being the pookies of society? We hold them accountable too. I just did a live stream talking about how Nick Cannon is trash because he still need to be a better father. Where's this going out here? And it's irresponsible for him to have his disease and still be out here having kids. Stop running in the victim Olympics. Oh, Steph Cole. Stop running in the victim Olympics and own up to the fact that men are held accountable by society and have no safety net. You do not deserve any kind of grace. We are going to give it to you the same way, if not worse, because we're going to hold you accountable for all of the times that the men and the simps validated you instead of having you being held accountable in the first place, which would have stemmed this behavior. We shouldn't even have this in our society. I'm sick of it. Hypersexualize black women, but then also compress and restrict their sexual expression. Pick up, pick Pick something, pick one. Um, so anyway, so I bring up Kaylee Cuomo for that purpose. Like she's allowed to just date and find- And she thought about she wants this. And break up with people and she's allowed to do so in peace. So whatever. Another person that I think about is Ariana Grande. Hmm. Ariana Grande dated a lot. For the streets. She was with a lot of folks. I ain't got no marriage, got no ring That's on fine. her finger. Good for her. Good for her, huh? Nobody called her a pass around. Well, maybe they did, I don't know. She but is I a pass around. That on social media. I did not see it. And I think it's because she had a high profile relationship with Mac Miller and he did pass away. They were respectful at least about that relationship. Big Sean. So I know that, um, <laughs> you know, Ariana, she definitely, she dated. She she was getting to know people and whatever. And I didn't <sighs> see the same amount of revulsion for her experience. Do you want a, do you want a cookie, ma'am? What do you want to do? What, what, what do you want? You want a trophy? You want to, listen, you want to equalize, hold them across different races and cultures. Is that what you want to do? You want to validate your behavior? We chastise the ones that we love. We look at Lori Harvey and we look at him and we say, listen, it's unfortunate because men should not be dealing with women for the streets. We say men should not have to then marry women that have stepchildren. You can prevent all of this. We hold accountable the ones that we love. Woosa, Woosa, Anton, this is not you tonight. I just came from having ice cream with my wife. See, I'm, I'm, I'm able to have this conversation because I actually live what I say I do. It says, hey, Antonio, when are you opening up more seats at the table selections on the Patreon? Why would you like a seat at the table, young man or young woman, little country? And why would you like a seat at the table? Listen, if y'all have not already, make sure you're subscribed to the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Subscribe to the Patreon. It is lit in there. I just did a mastermind session with my seat at the table members the other day, and then I released it for the general public right after that. What I like for you to do 
is first sign up for the tier that is available because the first tier is sold out and the third tier is sold out. Sign up for the middle tier. Get all of the game that you can. Establish a relationship with your fellow members inside of the Discord as well as me. And then I'll evaluate whether or not I want to open up a seat at the table based off of priority. You got to put in the work, family. I can't just open it up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And everybody would be taking up my time and wouldn't be utilizing it effectively. Shout out to you for the super chat, my friend. Let's get it. I'm excited. That was aimed against Lori. Also, another person, and I don't know if you're familiar with her and her dating history, Zoe Deschanel. She um, has been married a couple times. Quickly after her last divorce. She Every one of her examples is for the streets. Brother. Before that, she, she dated a lot. She was out and about. Nobody called her a pass around. Nobody said like all these incredibly He's a pass around. And terrible you feel things better now? about her. I don't even know who this chick is. I just feel is. like she's Lori a is having a very normal experience, but because she is a black woman and massage noir is a disease, she was criticized the way she was criticized. And I was like, oh, that's not fair. What is massage noir? Listen, I'm a C student. I am a C student. I am not the smartest crayon or the brightest crayon in the box. I'm not the sharpest knife in the tool shed. I am a butter knife. You are a steak knife. Her ability to be able to communicate effectively, obviously, is superior to mine, right? Superior to mine. Clearly, she is top, top when it comes to her communication ability because I don't know what massage noir. I don't know what her massage noir is. This is like the second or third time that I heard it say it, and I'm trying to understand what the heck she's trying to emphasize right here. Somebody tell me what is massage noir. I'd like to know inside of the chat. Y'all let me know what the heck is a massage noir. Okay? You know what? I'm going to make an attempt to solve for it myself. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what they taught me in school. I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to see if she used it in a proper context for me to be able to glean from the words around it in order to try to make an educated guess or a hypothesis as to what this really means. Let me rewind it a little bit. I'm going to rewind it just a little bit, okay? It's done terrible things about her. I just feel like Lori Harvey's having a very normal experience. But because she is a black woman and massage noir is a disease, massage she was criticized the way she was criticized. And I was like, massage noir is a disease. I'm so short. I'm duh. I don't know. I'm just a C student. I'm a community college graduate. Y'all gotta give me some, give me some rope. I don't know what Rod Roar is. All right. Lucid experience says, simply put, you hate women. Oh, we hate women. So we marry them. We have children by them. We hold them down. We take care of them. We add provision and protection. We love on them. We make sure that they're taken care of in every way and we protect them from the worst of society, but we hate them. See, the one thing that you can't say about me is that Anton hate women because I've absolutely heralded them. As a matter of fact, shout out to my Patreon women. I call you guys my Wakandans. You are my, what is it? Dorge Majalda? What did they call the women of Wakanda? I don't know. Listen, I am a C student. I don't know any better. Okay? Y'all got to give me some rope. Shout out to Astro Sport. You got to give me some rope. Astro Sports says she wants a participation trophy. That's all they all want one. That's all they want. Thank you. Just got an offer from Lowe's as a software engineer making $200,000 in Charlotte's area. Can we get a appreciation and a celebration? Can y'all put a one in the chat for the bag chasers that's continuing to level up for the Patreon members that continue to secure these big jobs as a result of rocking with Tyne Dog and Tyne from AntonDaniels.com? Can we get a one in the chat to celebrate the men and the women of this world that continue to level up and get these 200 plus bags that Anton keep advocating and giving y'all game for to get... Make sure you join the Patreon. If you have not already, make sure you book a personal call, Anton Daniels 413 at gmail.com. Email me and make sure you join the Patreon. We leveling up in every way possible, straight up. Shout out to you, Astro Sport. I appreciate you for continuing to hold me down. Shout out to Sir Shad. Oh, my God. You know it's shade when they say no shade. We're not attacking her specifically. 
We just attacking her argument and her mindset that's actually enabling women to do the things that are the worst for themselves. We love you. We chastise you because we love you. I, I see all these ones in the chat. See how we love you, big dog? Yeah. We love you, big dog. Get that bag. We celebrate the bag chasers over here. Let's continue. Oh, that's not fair. So anyway, the second thing I noticed is that people are afraid to lose when it comes to love. Um, I saw so many different tweets, specifically from men. Oh, that's why you can't take no woman to the aquarium. She'll break up with you. Because, you know, uh, for Lori's birthday <laughs> last year. Um, what is it? Don't name? take them to the aquarium. We warned you. An aquarium you tried to so warn you. You can't be doing that for people. You, you can't be doing that. They'll break up with you. Yeah, she broke up with them eventually. So and they. they eventually, but. Were they right? Were they right? Should he have not preserved his bag, not took that hussy to the aquarium and kept it moving? Because let me tell you something that Future did. Future was like, Psh. Michael B. Jordan was over there kissing on her and hugging on her and buying her all gold Rolexes. Here, let me put on my Rolexes. I'm feeling spicy right now. Take off this uh, Apple Watch and put on one of my Roly Rollies. And Michael Jordan was like, here, Lori, here you go. And Diddy and them was like, mm, 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 boom. what it is, ho, what's up? <laughs> what it is, ho, uh, what's up? Don't let me get started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. In the moment? It was something nice and wonderful to do for somebody that you cared about. It's like people have this mm. checks and system of checks and balances they think exists when it comes to love and romance. And you have to restrict what you can give and only give it when you know that the other person is going to receive it and receive it as it intended and receive it forever. Mm. And I understand where that comes from. You know, you don't want to be used. Mm. But at the same time, like life is actually very short. And this is coming from the woman that was literally complaining about not having pretty privilege and how sad she was right after she dropped that a year ago. I don't know. I think it's almost at like a million views, ain't it? Right after she dropped that video, a year later, she over here talking about this. Right after she ran in the victim Olympics. And I didn't even react to that video. Right after she just jumped into the victim Olympics and then she gives you this level of insight and information. Interesting. Let's continue. We don't know how long we have at all. Um, that's why it didn't bother me like to tell a story about making dinner and treating somebody who I really liked, but I knew I might not have a future with. Did y'all just hear what I heard? So let me tell you, translation, translation, I was hoping to get chose. I really like them. I made dinner for them. So either A, I was hoping to get chose or B, I was looking to have a good time that night. But either way, I, one thing I know, two things is for certain. Women don't do things for nothing. Everything in their mind, subconsciously and consciously, is transactional. They're doing something to get something out of it, not just because they're a nice person. That was something that I had to give. Like, I don't feel any shame about that. But I did get um, a message from someone and they were like, I would never try all the things you've tried when it comes to love. Well, Oh, Good bitter, for you. Bitter. I'm going to try. If I have it within me to give, I'm going to give it. And because I am a giver. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to just stop. I'm going to pause. And we're going to continue. Um, it feels good. It feels better for me to release than to hold on to something so tightly. And I know, I know, like I said before, people are afraid of being used. But I think criticizing what someone did when they were in a relationship with somebody that they really liked just because it didn't last forever. I just don't think that's fair. I think that's incredibly short-sighted. And I think it says so much about how scared people are. To I bet you this woman is like, she's giving me HR professional vibes right now. It's, it's given HR right now. It's given I'm HR by day, but I'm really sad and lonely by night. And so I lean into 
these theories that these modern women are teaching us on a regular basis in order to validate my existence because I'm not really where I want to be in life. It's giving HR professional vibes right now. I'm telling you, listen, I know what I know. I can call it is giving HR professional vibes right now. I don't know what she do for a living. I have not studied her. I am definitely subscribed to her channel because I will be, if this is the type of content that she's putting out, I will be reacting to this more often than not. It's given HR right now. It's given, let me sit you down and help you to understand why you can't be the misogynistic towards. It's given, let me put this paperwork in front of you so you can sign it. And then we can make sure that we get you, get you onboarded vibes right now. That's the type of vibes that she's given. Let me get you onboarded sign right here. Uh, here's the terms of your employment. Somebody will be in front of you shortly. Vibes. I work with HR. I know exactly what they do. Have you reviewed the Amanda Seals vid on Kev? Say it ain't so. Sir Shy, I need you to send me that video inside of my, send me the link to the video. Maybe we'll tackle it in the next one on this, on this channel. Let's go. Let's go. Amanda Seal. Share or to give Send that email me on that. When it means that they might not be revered forever for what they've given, for their generosity. I can't live like that. I know for a fact if I ever meet anyone that inspires certain things within me again, um, I might not do what I've done in the past, but I'll probably show who I am. I'm acts of service. Like, and I don't care what people say, it is a valid love language, but I'm acts of service. Oh, God. Here we go with this fucking love language. Now, is this what we're doing now? Is this what it's given? Is given love language talk by women that can't even find a man that tells you, hey, listen, my love language is I'm a gift giver. <laughs> Shut that shit up. <laughs> oh, man. If this woman was in front of me right now, I would ball up a piece of paper and then use her head as a basketball. Boop. All threes, nothing but net. Like, I love that type of thing. If I was Michael B. Jordan, I wouldn't feel no type of way about doing that for somebody. I think. Jesus. I can't even get through five seconds of the video because she just keep talking nonsense. If I were Michael B. Jordan, but you're not a man, so you will never understand how, how men think. And you can't see the pain on that man's face when he was at the Lakers basketball, whatever basketball. He was at the Warriors Celtics basketball game. And he was out there trying to hold it together. He knew he had paid for them tickets. He had two of them because he thought Lori was going to go with him. And he was trying to hold it together. This man is going to be seared for the rest of his life. Don't sit here and give Michael B. Jordan. This man has a legendary name. Keep that man name out your mouth. Don't ever say Michael, Michael's name. You call him M. Dot. Jesus. That's beautiful. Like for me, if I can look back on my life and say, oh, this was the way I was shown love, but this is the way I showed love. To me, it's equal. So whenever anybody was calling him a simp or they were saying he was a pick me for doing things for her, I was like, <laughs> say you've never really wanted someone without saying you've never really wanted someone. Say you're afraid to love without saying you're afraid to love. Like people are so afraid to lose or to look like the loser in the situation. And for good reason, because he loved somebody for the streets and one thing is for show, two things are certain. The dog, You know what the dog pound told me? Let me remove her real quick. I'm going to come back to you, Steph Coat. Don't worry about it. You know what the dog pound told me? The dog pound, the D-O-double-G, S-N-double-O-P. Snoop Dogg told me very early in life, and I was very disappointed in him for this because I was thinking to myself, listen, it's no way that Snoop should be telling us this. He says, you can't turn a house a hoe into the housewife nephew. Nephew. These hoes is for the streets. Listen. On the dog pounds of it. And if he fuck, and if Styles fuck, and if he fuck, then we are going to fuck. Drip, drop, drop, drip. Look at these hoes all over my dick. Tick, tock, tock, tick. Hoes be talking shit, but steady goblin dick. Mm. I'm surprised to see this chick at the party, man. I like that one. I bet she can eat a fat one. I bet I fuck that bitch. I seen her in her eyes. I know what she be wanting. 
this whole thing. I got a gang of ends. I can bust her and probably 20 of the whole freak jacking and dropping and dropping the jacking and get my motherfucking ends cracking. You know how my program go, but I love you, Snoop Dogg. I don't love you, hoes. Like, boy, don't let me get to, don't let me get to kicking it. <laughs> and you know what I'm slowly coming to the conclusion of? You know what I'm slowly understanding? Maybe Snoop was on to something, guys. Drip, drop, drop, drip. Toes be talking, but steady goblin dick. Am I owning something or am I owning something? Am I owning something or am I on to something? Daz corrupt, Snoop, Nate Dog. All of us was all of them was trying to tell us. And here we go. And Michael B. Jordan, he decided to skip that album. And now look at him. Michael B skipped the dog pound album you know the one where snoop was kicking over the buildings he should have got that album and he would never been in this position in the first place oh shout out to day coven says she's not single because of a lack of pretty privilege she's just flat out unbearable to listen to imagine being around her for more than a day no then she gonna want to talk then she gonna want to talk why would i want to sit there and be next to this one at one. Look, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to sit there and have a conversation with this woman? Ma'am, please. Ah, it's like looking at chalk on a chalk, nails on a chalkboard. Stop talking to me. Please do what you do best. Go in there and do what Chaotic told you to do. Go make a sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Sure Shot. Says, I sent it to you at your uh, IG DM. Bet. This is easy. Going to be a 1K chat room live. The Nickelodeon actors like Amanda Seals and Raven Simone are weird. Woo wee. It's going to be a good week, y'all. Good. I ain't did a Kevin Samuels video in a long time either. It's been a mighty quiet in these streets. Don't worry about it. I'm coming for you. Let's continue. Oh, Seth that they forget that that's not what it's always about. Sometimes you do wonderful things for people that you're in a relationship with. Drip, and one day you're not drop, in a relationship drop, with. Drop, drip. It doesn't make those things that you did invalid. Look at these hoes all over my dick. You can be when you love pick, someone. Hold that stuff to your chest. Pick, Remember those things. Hoes we talking, but steady. And save it for the dick. next time somebody comes around. And hopefully that relationship lasts a little longer, maybe forever. And you know in your head, oh man, you know, this is the type of lover I'm willing to be. Are y'all taking dating That's advice? That's how I look at like things that have happened in my life. I know the quality of my heart now because of how I reacted. Hey, how do you weigh the quality of your heart? <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second. How do you weigh the quality of your heart? Somebody tell me, what is the quality? What's the rating? Is it a scale of 1 to 10? 1 to 20? What is the quality of your heart? What the fuck are you talking about, ma'am? Respectfully. What are you talking about? This is why you should not take dating advice from people that are not successfully married. This is why you should not take financial advice from people that have not been able to build businesses and become millionaires themselves. This is why you shouldn't get life coaches that are 22 years old. Why would anybody in their right mind, same judgment, I'm not talking about people that are triple minorities. I'm not talking about black women that are dwarves <laughs> like we talked about on the Millionaire Morning Show this morning. Why would anybody in their right mind pay attention to a woman that has not been able to secure a successful marriage? Who is she coaching right now? Shout out to Dawit Stamper. Says the value of the Patreon is amazing. Going back through the older videos. Oh, we got a new Patreon video dropping tomorrow, nephew. Yes. A new Patreon video is dropping tomorrow, nephew. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. To situations that may have been temporary, but look what they activated within me. I don't feel like I lost. 
but a lot of people you are did. afraid to lose. And that's you what lost. I saw in the situation. You gave up your most precious, precious thing about you. The most valuable thing that you have to offer a man, you gave it up for nothing. He drip, drop, drop, dripped. And then he continued to move on right after you cooked for him. You gave the most precious asset that you have to a man that had no intention on marrying you in the first place. And you think that this makes sense. You think that this makes sense. Please tell me, HR professional, why this makes sense. Mm, mm, mm. I'm in a good mood tonight. With Lori. Okay, the final thing that it revealed to me, and this was so interesting. I'm rubbing your um, hair. Because I was just like, it doesn't matter how much we say we're growing as a society. It doesn't matter how how many alternative lifestyles are birthed into the world. It doesn't matter, you know, for whatever. Mm. Uh, for whatever reason, for better or for worse, people believe that <laughs> Shout out to Charisse. <laughs> need to do the same thing. Hey, Charisse, I got a question. Is she giving you HR professional vibes? Charisse, let me know in the chat. If you had to guess what she did for a living, would you say that this woman is probably an HR professional? She she's given all kind of HR professional vibes. Look at her jewelry. Look, 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 look. That ain't nothing but HR professional outfit. Tell me that ain't an HR professional. I would bet money. I bet bet money that this woman is an HR professional. Mm, mm, mm. Let's continue. And we're all headed towards the same thing. For some See? reason, I knew it. People think that I knew it. Person Look at her gear. You're going to be in a good relationship. With Anybody you. that's worked in corporate America know that this woman is going to give HR professional vibes. And then during our town hall meeting, we're going to go in and we're going to congratulate everybody that's got promoted. We're going to put it on the board right here, ladies and gentlemen. These are the ones that's got promoted, and these are the people that got hired in. Can we get a round of applause? I know how HR do it. I know the whole playbook. I know the whole playbook. She's an elementary teacher. Yeah, right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nope. This is HR professional. Well, that needs to be a marriage. And you need to get to marriage as soon as possible. When we know that marriage has a divorce rate of 50%. When we know that, you know what I mean? Like it, Everybody's not on the same path. Everybody can't be advised the same way. Every relationship is not going to head to the same purpose. The amount of people's tweets mm, mm, mm. and things that I read that were so disappointed at this couple that they didn't even know for not getting married. I was like, what's wrong with y'all? Let me tell you what's wrong with them, honestly. It's because we genuinely in our heart, let me tell you something about people. People genuinely want the best for people. Right. And so usually what happens is when you see people that come together, you want them to win. You want them to be successful. You want them to stay married. We go to weddings not to plan for the divorce. And so when we see something happen like this and it's almost like a, I told you so moment. It's like your mama knowing that you messing with this dude and he ain't got nothing for you but a bag of balls to drop off in your drawers, right? And he and she tell you, honey, honey, you don't want to mess with that one. That one, that one got tattoos on their face and he got a drip drop around his eye, which means he's a killer. You probably don't want to go for that one. And then you say, mama, but I love him. And she say, okay, baby, just don't say that I didn't tell you so. And then when it happens, she just be sitting there like this waiting at the door. He sent you home in an Uber, didn't he? He sent you home in an Uber, didn't he? And this is what's happening right here. We want the best for you, but you continue to do the thing that's not in your best interest. So instead of saying, well, divorce ends in 50%, you should be talking to the people that actually understand what being successfully married looks like so I can give you the blueprint of how you can be 100%. She said she was a teacher. Oh, these fucking teachers. Mm, mm, mm. It's always the teachers, ain't it? Whew, she really is a school teacher. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Unreal. What happened to we all get to places on our own time? What happened to we? I think it's because we tend to idolize things. 
Mm. especially in situations where we're looking for somebody to be that good example, right? To represent well. Mm. And so when they let us down, it's like, but you were supposed, you were supposed to be the ones. This is the woman that is going to be teaching your children. Are your children are going to be getting indoctrinated by this woman's views? Oh my God. You can't, you cannot possibly tell me that this makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, no, 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 no. More men in schools. Hashtag more men in schools. These are human beings. These are human beings. Not like I said, navigating this thing the best way they know how. Mm. They don't owe us anything. They don't owe us anything. Then why you keep and what anything? I also saw was uh, everybody was like, "Oh well, he dated someone ten years younger than him. It's his fault they broke up. He was too old." How many times though? Do you see on social media people advising women, "Oh, girl, date older because they know what they want." They which is it? What is it? It just, it came down to. She apparently broke up with him. What are you talking about? Listen, listen, listen. I'm not even going to front. I'm not going to front because I have no problem giving a dude props. Michael B. Jordan is probably like the top, top. The top, top. I don't know if it's a better option than Michael B. Did you see him throw that right hook in Creed? Did you? Michael B. Jordan is like right up there at the, the upper echelon of the type of guys that a woman should want. Right at that age, getting his bag, got money. He's in the gym. He's a movie star. He's even a simp. What more do you want? He's even a simp. He's the prototype. If there's no hope for Michael B. with your modern women, what hope is it? Jesus Christ. Everybody having, for whatever reason, even though we're in the day and times that we're in right now, everybody having this really puritanical view of Pure how women are supposed to. What the fuck does that mean? Somebody look up puritanical. This C student is just not catching that wave. Somebody look up puritanical and you guys tell me what it means because I'm not going to keep on trying to shoot my shot, putting together my context clues for the words around it. That's not working for me. And my teacher told me to do that. And that ain't working for me. Men are supposed to walk through relationships. We're supposed Ooh. to get marriage as soon as we can. We're supposed to get to... Lori's very young, 25. Michael's 35 and he's a man. He doesn't have to worry about fertility. He might as well be nine. Okay? She's very young. This is an interesting comment. Dara D says, I know Anton is not for the culture, but we rarely go out of our culture to speak bad about people. She's literally speaking bad about people in this video. I'm not arguing about her. I didn't say anything about her looks. I didn't say anything negative about her specifically. I'm saying negative things about the things that she's saying. I'm arguing her points. That's her point. White women can do whatever, but if a black woman does it, we're all over her. No. We address points based off of proximity. When you do crime, crime usually happens to people that are close to you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for you to be able to communicate this. When crime happens, it happens to the people basis, based off of their close to you. If you go over and you look at any Manosphere channel, right? Go and look up entrepreneur in cars. White women have the... White men are complaining about white women. Asian men are complaining about Asian women. Black men are complaining about black women. It's women across the board. This is not a, listen, this is the worst time in history. This is the worst time in history for y'all to try to stay on cold. You need to be looking at other cultures and seeing what they're doing correctly and then try to bring it back into your own household. Growth comes from being uncomfortable, talking to people that are doing things differently from the people that's used to you. Get out of your mama's house. Get out of your grandmama's house. Your angry aunties, them hussies and them hoes that's your best friends that's for the streets. They can't teach you nothing. Go and talk to somebody that's doing it right. This is the worst time that y'all can be on code. Off code. Fuck the culture. Okay. Real talk. You're losing. You're losing. Listen, women, ladies, black women, you are at the bottom of the totem pole. This is a fact. Listen, y'all want some real talk? I'll come back to you in a minute, Steph Co. Let me, I'm going to leave this comment up here. Let me tell you the truth. This is the absolute truth. Anton is going to tell you the truth. I have no strings on me. 
Nobody owns me. Shout out to my new sponsor. I got a new liquor sponsor coming up too. We gonna talk about that later. Don't worry about that, okay? They said, Anton, listen, we okay with you being a little bit egregious. Just don't go over the line. I said, fuck you. And if you want to do business with me, make sure you send that check. No refunds. New liquor sponsorship coming up soon. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? You ready? Black women are in dead last. The least likely to get married. The most likely to catch a venereal disease. This is not my thoughts. These are facts. The most likely to get divorced. The least likely to be a high earner. You are running in the last place spot. You are in a sprint with Usain Bolt and you have a wheelchair. Do you want growth? Do you want to be better? Do you want the truth? Do you want to then get married? Do you want to buck the odds and then actually place them in your favor for you to be successful? Or are you still trying to be running in the victim Olympics and being last? Please tell me what you want so that I'll know how to address you accordingly. What's your goal? Do you want to be out here having a hot girl summer? I just did a live stream and I brought it back to the money and I helped y'all to understand how the way that you can become successful is by aligning yourself with people that's going in the direction that you're going in. Do you want to know the truth or do you want to continue to be validated? You want to feel good for the moment or you want to be rich forever? That's the question that I'm asking you. Which one you want? You can't have both. You can't be a bitch and a fairy at the same time. You can't be God and the devil at the same time. Pick one. Which one you want? Make a decision right now. Look in the mirror. Say, yo, I know I'm for the streets, but my daughter don't have to be. Make a decision, ma'am. Which one you want? You can't have it both. All of your examples. Listen, even the women that we don't even know a lot about for their business. Right. When you look at the Nia Longs, OK, when you look at the Regina Kings and all of them, have y'all ever Sanaa Lathans? These women are single forever. Some of the women that we highlight that's the, at the top of the culture. Everybody said they wanted a Nia Long. Even J. Cole rapped about her. What the fuck? Nia Long can't get a man. How is this possible? How, how, how is the, Holly Berry is perpetually in a different relationship every other day. It's a new white man on Holly Berry's profile every day, working out, getting it, girl. Holly Berry. You want change or you want to be somebody's baby mama? Good grief. Whew. Can't do with him. Can't do with him. Yeah, you thought I was going to say it the other way, didn't you? She's 25. Realistically speaking, she could keep this train going for 10 years and no, be fine Jesus if she wanted Christ. to. Okay? I just. This woman is just really throwing me, throwing me for a loop. That somebody was walking their own path. And I said, you know, it just comes from this idea that we have. No matter how much we say we've grown or we're evolving. or Get the likes up, y'all, please. Get the likes up. Get the likes up, please. For goodness sakes. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, please. This woman is just jumping off. This woman says she can be doing this for the next 10 years and be fine. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Help us. Please don't let our daughters end up like this whatever this idea that we have that everybody's supposed to do everything the same way love marriage baby carriage by 30 and if you miss that then you then you failed when the truth is, is that a lot of people don't do it in that time frame and the quicker a lot of people don't, don't do it at all this is the first generation of women reality, that are literally dying alone you know, like some kind of weird idea we have about what's supposed to happen in our head the quicker we're honest with ourselves <sighs> the easier we're going to be, not only on ourselves when things don't work out, but Jesus. on our public figures. Oh, my God. She did not deserve all of that. Mm. But lucky for her, she is a super Capricorn. So many planets in Capricorn. What the that fuck are we talking? Away. She's very strong. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can't take anymore. 
It's hurting my ears. It's hurting my ears. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for y'all to be able to jump up here and give y'all thoughts. Ladies, you will get preferred treatment. I am not going to hurt you. You know me. I treat my ladies with soft gloves. I hit you with pillows. I don't hit you with my fists. Ladies, I hit you with pillows. I do not hit you with my fists. Okay? Okay? All right. I just dropped the link in the chat. I'm going to pin it to the top of the chat. Because this is painful. Ladies, you get preferred treatment. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm going to pin it to the top of the chat. Give me five seconds. Don't be scared. Oh, fuck. Look at what we got going on. Don't be scared. I got your back, ladies. We own it. I'm about to fix you. All right. Let me pin that to the top of the chat. Boom. All right. Now. <sighs> Let's continue. Person, at least on paper. And I say she's just going to keep building that empire. She's just going to keep, you know, she, she's, she don't, a lot of people pointed out, Lori just serves looks in silence. She don't be talking. She's not the kind of person that's going to come out and make statements and do whatever. Mm. Um, so I'm doing it for her. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. All I have to say is, oh my God, this is painful. Navigate the dating world. Future was so revered that he's in commercials. He's this, he's that. He's allowed to be this toxic figure. And people are like, no, we actually liked Future because he's got talent and his talent overshadows his lack of dick discipline. And so as a result, we can tolerate future because then he make us dance in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? He going to drop that heat. What is Lori Harvey's talent? What are these women's talent? Why do y'all think that these women are talented? And stop comparing them to future. Like my dog, uh, God, I forgot what his name is. He told Amber Rose, he says, what, she said, what are women? And he says sluts. And she said, what are men? Slut makers. Future is a slut maker. And it's your fault for continuing to rock with him if you decide to get buzzed down. Is what people do, right? But yet when a woman does <laughs> nothing even close to that, when she just dates people that are interested or is around people that are interested, there were rumors about her dating fathers and sons and this and that. <sighs> we don't know if that's true. She's just visible. She's having a good time. She's navigating a world where she has a lot of value. And like I was saying earlier, um, oh I don't know if I God, actually said what this, the freak is he talking you know, about, I bro? Like Lori Harvey, and I, I'm like, you know, that's like Flojo running in the Olympics. That's like similar, what? you know, uh, tumbling in the Olympics. That's like she's, Beyonce she's quoting people that are actually video. talented. But she's somebody that has uh, a lot of attributes and characteristics that make her extremely valuable in a certain how outside of her looks somebody tell me what Lori harvey's somebody in the chat tell me what Lori harvey's gift is tell me what Lori harvey's gift is i'm open to the possibility that i'm wrong somebody in the chat tell me what Lori harvey's gift is i'm curious but train john baptiste you must be french john baptiste says should have known she was into astrology aka space bigotry space cadet out of her mind whenever you run into these women and they start asking you what your sign is because i knew you was two-faced there because you was a gemini run run for the hills bro somebody tell somebody tell me what uh lori harvey's gift is y'all i'm curious world and she's she's playing the cards that were dealt to her and i I can't be mad. I don't have those same things, right? Mm. So all I can do is kind of look on from the side and say, okay, girl. Okay, girl. I like, yeah. I, I, I like to see people live their life mm. um, to the greatest extent that they can live it with what's been given to them. Okay. I love it. She's been and, given everything um, like if she has before, no talent. She's extremely young. 25 is young. Not knowing who you're going to marry by 25 is not the end of the freaking world. Let mm. the woman be. Let her grow. Let her date. Somebody said Let gawk gawk 3000. Okay, she could be our generations. She got that gawk gawk 3000 fatty. <laughs> <laughs> could have given birth to her. It would have been a very young. <laughs> Ladies, I didn't even go that hard. I didn't go hard at all today. Like that again. I don't want it says she got that gawk again. gawk 3000. Um, I hope she doesn't take it to heart. I hope she knows it's just a lot of people who are confused about what's actually possible in the world. 
um, putting their two cents in on something that they should not be worried about. You just literally you know, gave your two cents. Like talking about how Michael. B. She Jordan literally just gave her two cents about, about things that she know nothing about. <laughs> why? 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 God. Get get a life. Go outside. Touch grass. Don't be Somebody scared. said they got the Gawk Gawk 4000s out right now. Is that the 2023 model? They got the Gawk Gawk 4000s? <laughs> Upgrades. They take the whole thing, huh? Woo! Yeah, that's, uh, or, or else we'll, we'll, we'll have to come back here and fight, you know, just like this. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. So, what do you guys think about this? We have successfully navigated to the end of this video. We have successfully made it through. Very rarely can I stay long enough to actually get through it. We have finally got through it. So, what's oh, Steph Co. right about her sentiment when it came to Lori Harvey? Hmm? Remember, this is the woman that gave you the complaints and said that she didn't have pretty privilege and she wished that she had because she getting treated like a second class citizen. Then she came back to us and she told us that, yo, I thought I found a man in my dreams, but he I was cooking for him and he left me. I'm subscribed to her channel. I have to be. I have to be. I believe that old Steph Co is going to continue to gain a following because there's so many women that aligns with her mindset and and continues to hold all of these professional uh, these professional jobs teaching our future leaders and our women and our children how they should go about doing things. And then as a result, this is what we get. Shout out to the chef. Continue to cook up all day, every day. Lori's gift is being the equivalent of a pre-owned Rolex worn by greats, but yours now. Big time dog. Your morning show background got me confused at night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the funniest thing about this though chef is i started the other channel and it wasn't even called the millionaire morning show when i first started it it was called after hours because that was the channel that i was actually talking about this stuff on and then it evolved because i was like yo i gotta give the people the value that they need in order to be successful it evolved because it turned into a morning show and so now we get on demon time over here. So it's a little bit different. Thanks. Shout out to the chef cooking up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are y'all going to do? Ladies, if these are y'all queens, then I can understand why men don't want to get married. No need in ever, in ever marrying a queen like this. We don't want it. We don't have it. No way. Men saying no way. Go away. Come back another day. We're not having it. So um, I guess no ladies actually wants to support old Steph Co and give us any pushback. And that's a good thing, I guess. Relatively. Unfortunately, I know it's some of y'all that actually share her sentiment and that you just fell in to speak up because you don't want to actually say it in front of everybody. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, my God, chef. Steph Cole looks like a chunky Kayla.com. Oh, Jesus. The views shared by the people that super chat into this channel are not the views of Anton from AntonDaniels.com. All right. I got to get on a panel with these people. So Anton has no comment whatsoever, but I can't control what y'all super chat. I can't control the people. This is Rome. This is Rome. I cannot control what happens in Rome. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So listen, listen, I'm done. I'm done. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. I'm about to go for a ride in the bins. All right. Uh, video dropping shortly on the Millionaire Morning Show channel. That should be up within a few minutes. I think at 1045 p.m. Eastern. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If y'all have not already, make sure that y'all subscribe to the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as uh, it's not pinned to the top of the chat. Let me remove that. The link to call in from the top of the chat real quick. Remove, remove. All right. So um, if you need to kick it with me personally, email me at AntonDaniels413 at gmail.com. 
I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for continuing to rock with me. Uh, this was painful. This was painful, but it was necessary for us to have this conversation to help y'all to understand how y'all need to move differently. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for tapping in with me. Me and Q are going to be back on Q and a to, uh, next week, starting on Monday. All right. I'm gonna holler at y'all later, but I need y'all to do me one more thing before y'all get out of here. Make sure y'all share this with your family and friends. We don't want to be rich by ourselves. I love you. I appreciate you.